Today, we're diving into Redis, an incredibly popular and powerful tool in the world of data storage and caching. If you're a developer or just curious about tech, Redis is something you've likely heard of. Uh, but today, we'll break down what it is, why it's useful, and how it works. So let's get into it. So let's start with the basics. Redis stands for Remote Dictionary Server. It's an open source, in-memory data structure store that's often used as a database, cache, and message broker. But what makes Redis unique is that it stores data in memory rather than on disk. That means it's blazing fast, perfect for applications that need real-time responses. Now, Redis isn't just about speed though, it's also really flexible. It supports multiple data types like strings, lists, sets, hashes, and even geospatial data. This makes it incredibly versatile for different use cases. You want to store a list of online users? <laughs> Done. Need to create a leaderboard? It's easy. Redis has your back. All right, let's talk about where Redis shines. Uh, here are some of its most common use cases. First up is caching. Redis is famous for caching data. Think about a site that loads super fast because it doesn't have to query the database every time. Uh, then there's session management. Many apps use Redis to store session data, like when you log into a website and it remembers you. And then there's real-time analytics. Redis is often used to analyze data in real time, making it ideal for apps that handle a high volume of data and need instant results. So why Redis? Well, it's speed, simplicity, and scalability. It's one of the fastest solutions out there. It's also really straightforward to set up. Plus, Redis can scale to handle a ton of data, whether it's managing millions of users or crunching numbers for real-time analytics. Let's look under the hood. Redis works by storing data in a key value format. This allows you to quickly retrieve data by its unique key. It's like looking up a name in a contact list. This key value model, combined with the fact that Redis is in memory, gives it its super speed. And it uses persistence options to save data, so you don't lose it when the server restarts. Now, while Redis is amazing, it's not perfect for everything. Uh, the pros is that it's super fast, open source, and flexible. But some cons, since it's in memory, it can be expensive to store large data sets, and it's not the best choice for applications needing complex queries. Redis is an incredible tool that's easy to get started with and powerful enough to handle serious applications. Whether you're building a social media app, a chat service, or anything that needs real-time performance, Redis might be exactly what you need. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell for more tech breakdowns like this. And uh, let me know in the comments, are you using Redis or are you planning on giving it a try? Thanks for watching.